guys and guys, welcome to another video and today we've got another community showcase. I'm so sorry it's so late. I watched Fast and Furious today and didn't realise it was going to be out for quite literally the whole day. So, yeah, kind of been doing that all day. And I haven't really managed to make this video up until this point, which is probably like midnight when you're seeing this. But again, um, I'm, I'm, I, I apologise greatly for that, but... But without further ado, you know, let's get straight into this video again. We've got some some, um, some great uh, entries for this week, and a few one, a few ones which I missed out from last week. But regardless, we're gonna go for it anyway. So without further ado, let's get straight into this week's community showcase. So firstly, we have Baz's um, LaFerrari. This is his LaFerrari. It's really hard to see, and I kind of had to cut out some parts because it was a very shaky camera and I've tried to do the most I can with the footage but basically what he's gone ahead and done um, before the, the thing cut off uh, he's gone ahead and put some Italian stripes down his LaFerrari look pretty little pretty simple look but at the same time suits the car very well so without further ado let's get on to the next car so next up we have Zhao's 240SX now I do want to say I'm really sorry if I do miss your cars out some people seem, seem to think I have like a vendetta against the people I miss out it's really not that way I just forget to, make, to, to miss them, or I just don't pick them up in the drop box, or I miss them somehow. It's nothing against you, I don't hate you. Um, <laughs> and I, this is one I actually missed. This is Zhao's S14, as you can see, on Midnight Club. A very simple look, but at the same time it works brilliantly. Um, and yeah, another amazing car. So let's move go straight on to the next one. Okay, next we have Aston Shills. Oh, he's changed his name from Aston Boy to Aston Shills. See, I do look at these things. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this is Aston Shills. Gallardo from Need for Speed, most wanted, as you can see, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving that kind of green on black feel of things, very similar to Tunis's theme, if you know who Tunis is. Uh, very similar to his theme, and it looks very nice indeed. I'm loving that carbon hood. It goes really well with this Gallardo, as does most other things on this car. So, again, another great entry. Let's get straight on to the next one. Okay, the next car is from the King of Rices, and this is his Celine S7 from Midnight Club. Again, a lot of cars from Midnight Club this week. He's obviously gone for the yellow and black mix, and it looks very nice indeed. Another simple, desi simple design. It works really, really well. Okay, the next car is from Subaru Wolf, and this is his AE86 from Need for Speed World. As you can see, he's gone and put that JDM sticker on the front with the carbon fiber, carbon fiber, blah, 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 <laughs> the carbon fiber bonnet, and he's gone ahead and put a body kit on as well, as well as lowering the car itself, and he's obviously gone ahead and put a livery on it too. Looks amazing. Um, a lot, of, like a, a lot of the cars people send in, look amazing, and this is no different. <laughs> so yeah, let's move on to the next car. Alright, next up to the plate, we have Ghost Stevens RX7. As you can see, this is a Twitter link, hence why I've just put the at this time. There's no point in me putting Twitter then at, because everyone knows Twitter is an at. Um, but yeah, this is his RX7 with obviously his theme colours on the actual car itself. And holy moly, the stance is real on that back end. I'm actually in love with this car. Looks so nice. Am I tempted to use it in the thumbnail? Of course I am. Next up, we have possibly the coolest design I have seen since this series has started. And this is, I, I believe it's Cross's um, Corvette from um, Neef Speed Most Wanted. Originally, obviously remade on Midnight Club. This is honestly one of the coolest cars I have seen since the start of the series itself. And boy, does it look good. And does it look like a good replica? I'd say so. I think it looks really, really nice. So well done, Venom Legs, on having one of the coolest cars I've ever seen in this series so far. So... Yeah, well done, man. This looks absolutely amazing. Okay, up next we have Andres' Supra. And as you can tell, he's gone with that grey on black. And what can we say besides... I was right with the colour choice. <laughs> this, again, it looks amazing. I love the colour scheme with the grey and black. It looks like there isn't a vinyl, but then you look at another angle. It's kind of like possess, possess it in a way. I don't know. I just love it. I, I genuinely think it looks amazing. Like, just on any car, it works perfectly. And this is no different. This is no different. So, yeah, really nice car. That grey on black really works well. If you haven't tried it, you should really try it. It just genuinely look really nice on most tuners and, like, muscle cars and sports cars. Personally, I wouldn't personally put any vinyl on a muscle car. But, you know, grey on black really works. <laughs> like, honestly, grey on black really works well. Definitely worth a try if you are looking to customise a car. It really is. It seems like in this episode there hasn't been many cars, but each car has been amazing. And this one is no different. This is, has come into you by Jay Harvey. And again, one of the coolest cars I have seen from this series so far. And you will see why in a minute. This is his Drift Machine RX-7. And look at that. 
the hippo on the front. That looks truly amazing. What can I say? That is, again, one of the coolest things I've seen since the start of this series. So well done, Jay Harvey, on making one of the coolest things. It's just that hippo, you know. I've seen a few hippo nation branded cars but this is hands down one of the coolest so again another amazing car there was not that many cars this week um i guess that's a good and bad thing because i'm kind of on a bit of a schedule um uh but yeah guys get get back to your car making man what's happened to the recent slump of questions and cars you know get back to it you know you've, most of the guys who live in the uk now you guys have got holidays i want to see some mad designs um, for next week's community showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.